हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मिसेस शीतल चौहान फ्रॉम न्यू कैथोलिक मिशन स्कूल झाबुआ वेलकम यू ऑल इन द क्लास ऑफ मैथ्स आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू मैथ्स ऑफ क्लास एट एंड नाउ टुडे आई एम कंटिन्यू चैप्टर थर्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्वाड्रिलेटरल सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट काइंड्स ऑफ क्वाड्रिलेटरल बिकॉज काइंड्स ऑफ क्वाड्रिलेटरल आर हेल्पफुल इन एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री एंड थ्री पॉइंट फोर इन प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू थ्री पॉइंट वन एंड थ्री पॉइंट टू सो लेट एस सी काइंड्स ऑफ क्वाड्रिलेटरल सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट आर क्वाड्रिलेटरल्स सो क्वाड्रिलेटरल दैट मीन्स अ सिंपल क्लोज फिगर विच इज मैडअप ऑफ फोर लाइन सेगमेंट सो हियर we have to see different types of quadrilateral so first type is trapezium so its property is it is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel side means trapezium mein kya hoga ek pair at least parallel hogi for example here you are uh, looking one figure this is the figure of trapezium so here in this figure this pair and this pair is parallel and these two are not parallel it means one pair one pair is always parallel in trapezium okay this is the definition of trapezium now let's see second type of quadrilateral second type of quadrilateral is kite you heard the name of kite yes and you are flying also so you are uh, aware about kite so kite uh, picture also you have seen so same way here also we have the figure of kite it is also made by four line segment so what is kite it is a quadrilateral with exactly two pairs of equal consecutive side means kite mein kya hoga do consecutive sides hamesha equal hogi for example this is the picture of kite so here this side and this side having equal length and this side and this side also of equal length that means two consecutive sides okay then its properties so the diagonals are perpendicular now i explain you what is diagonal so diagonal means opposite vertices you have to join so here there are two diagonals so these diagonals are perpendicular now perpendicular it means they are forming 90 degree angle so here 90 degree angle is making now second property one of the diagonal bisect the other it means bisect means the it divide the part into two equal parts like this diagonal divide the kite into two equal parts so any one of the diagonal bisect the other that means cut into equal parts so this is about kite now let's see about third quadrilateral that is parallelogram now what is parallelogram according to name it is clear that parallelogram that means parallel it means a quadrilateral with each pair of opposite sides parallel means parallelogram mein dono jo pair hogi wo parallel hogi like in this figure you are showing a parallelogram so this side and this side is parallel and this one side and this one side also parallel that means both the pairs are parallel okay now its properties opposite sides are equal in parallelogram always opposite sides are equal that means this side and this side they are equal as well as this side and this side they are also equal okay then second property opposite angles are equal then its opposite angle also equal that means this angle is equal to this angle and this angle equal to this angle that means opposite angles are equal okay then third property diagonals bisect one another now bisect means clear divide it into two equal parts 
so this diagonal and this diagonal two diagonal and they bisect it means this one and this one equal and this one and this one part also equal diagonal bisect each other now next one type of quadrilateral it is rhombus now rhombus also having all the properties same as parallelogram so we can say a parallelogram with all sides are equal that means it has the property of parallelogram as well as in rhombus all four sides are equal okay then its properties diagonals are perpendicular bisector of one another that means when we draw the diagonal then diagonals are perpendicular perpendicular also and they bisect also bisect i explain you that means divide it into two equal parts okay so this is the figure here about rhombus now next type of quadrilateral is rectangle you are aware about rectangle in previous class also you heard that a parallelogram with equal angles that means in rectangle all four angles are of same measure then properties its opposite sides are equal and parallel in parallelogram this side and this side these two sides are equal similarly this side and this side it is also equal that means opposite sides are equal as well as parallel then each angle is a right angle and each angle is a right angle right angle it means 90 degree angle so this angle and this angle is also of 90 degree that means all four angles are of 90 degree then diagonals are equal so here you are looking these are the diagonal so both the diagonals are equal as well as bisect each other that means this one part is equal to this and this part is equal to this okay now last that is square so what is square you know a square has all four sides are equal then its property in square all four angles are of same measure and they are of right angle that means 90 degree in the square all four angles are of 90 degree then diagonals in a square also diagonals are equal as well as they are also perpendicular bisector that means where they cut they form 90 degree angle so this was all about kinds of quadrilateral which is helpful to you in solving the exercise 3.3 and 3.4 now let us proceed towards exercise 3.3 now in exercise 3.3 you have to see question number first question number first is you have given here a parallelogram given a parallelogram abcd then complete each statement along with the definition or property used now you have given one figure and this figure is of parallelogram so this parallelogram name is a b c and d now you have to fill this blank that means you have given ad equal dash and this one equal dash that means you have to fill it fill in the blanks as well as you have to give reason also reason that means why these are equal to the other and which property we are going to used so here first you have given ad so ad equal bc just now we have learned in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal so here ad equal bc because reason you have to mention here in parallelogram opposite sides are equal in length okay then second one is angle dcb dcb that means this angle equal angle dab now angle a that means angle c is equal to angle 
A because opposite angles are equal in parallelogram. So we mention here in parallelogram opposite angles are equal in measure. Then third OC. Now OC equal OA because we have seen diagonal bisect each other. So when diagonal bisect it means this and this one becomes equal in length. So OC equal OA. Reason diagonals bisect each other. Now fourth one. Now fourth one is measure of DAB. DAB that means this angle plus CDA that means this angle. So this angle and this angle sum. So remember beta whenever you have given parallelogram and two adjacent sides are given. Adjacent means two close side uh, nearby sides like this angle and this angle are adjacent same this angle and this also adjacent this and this also and this and this also that means two nearby angles are known as adjacent angle so if the sum of these two adjacent angles are given then it is always supplementary supplementary it means it is 180 degree so here measure of angle DAB plus measure of angle CDA equal 180 degree and what is the reason in a parallelogram adjacent angles are supplementary to each other now what is the meaning of supplementary that means their sum is equal to 180 degree remember okay now first question is over now let's see question number two consider the following parallelogram so here you have given different types of parallelograms and we have to find the value of unknown unknown that is x y and z so see the first figure in this figure you have given only angle b angle b is 100 degree now you have to find z y and x so in the figure it is clear that we know that opposite angles are equal in parallelogram and this is the figure of parallelogram then the sum of adjacent angle is supplementary abhi aapko bataya maine ki do adjacent angle ka sum always kitna hoga 180 degree so here angle x and 100 are adjacent angle therefore x plus 100 equal 180 degree. Ab aapko beta always bracket mein reason mention karna hai. Hana? Ki aapne aisa kyon liya hai? To why it is? Because adjacent angles are supplementary. Now equation is formed. So we have to solve the equation. So transpose 100 on right hand side. So x equal 180. This plus change into minus. So x equal 180 minus 100 degree. So what is x? x equal 80 degree. Now we get the value of x. Now this y and 100 these are opposite angles that means y equal 100 degree and x and z also opposite. So it is also equal. So we find x here 80 degree. So what is z? z is also equal to x and x equal 80 degree. So opposite angles are equal that is the reason so we mention in the bracket and y also equal 100 because opposite angles are equal okay so in this way you can find the value of unknown so see figure number 2 in this second figure 50 degree plus y again these are adjacent angle so 50 degree plus y equal 180 degree so y equal 180 minus 50. So we get y equal 130 degree. Now y and x are equal because opposite angles are equal. So y equal x both are 130 degree. Now x and z these are corresponding angle because these two lines are parallel and this one is the transversal. So angle x equal angle z it is known as corresponding angle so 
x and x is 130 so z also 130 it means all three angles are of 130 degree now see its third figure in the third figure you have given this parallelogram now again we have to find x y and z now here according to fig figure it is clear that uh, this angle x equal to this one and this sign showing it is of 90 degree so angle x equal 90 degree and why they are equal because they are forming vertically opposite angle so x equal 90 degree and in reason we write vertically opposite angles now we are getting here one triangle so in triangle we know we can apply angle sum property so angle x plus angle y plus 30 degree it is equal 180 degree that is angle sum property so x we find out x is 90 degree plus y plus 30 degree equal 180 degree now 90 plus 30 120 so 120 plus y equal 180 degree so y equal 180 minus 120 so what is y y equal 60 degree so now we get the value of y also now y and z this y and z are alternate interior angle because this two lines are parallel and this is transversal so angle y equal angle z so z we find out uh, y we find out 60 degree so z also 60 degree and reason alternate interior angles okay so in this way you we have to find the answer of different figures now let's see next question draw a rough figure of a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram but has exactly two opposite angles of equal measure matlab aisa quadrilateral hona chahiye jiske do angles kya ho equal ho par wo kya nahi hona chahiye parallelogram so this type of quadrilateral is kite okay so here you are showing the picture of kite a b c d which has two angles angle b and angle d these are of equal measure but angle a and angle c are not equal it means it is a not parallelogram because in parallelogram both the angles are equal here only one pair, pair of angles are equal one is not equal so this is a quadrilateral which is not parallelogram but has two opposite angles are of equal measure that is kite okay now see question number 5 here you have given the measures of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 ratio 2 so find the measure of each of the angles of parallelogram means yahan par aapko angle ratio ke form mein diye hain 3 ratio 4 we know there are four angles in a parallelogram and two adjacent angle do adjacent angle aapko diye hain 3 ratio 2 form mein to aapko remaining angles find karna hai okay so let the measure of two adjacent angle we suppose that two angles are angle a and angle b they are in the form of ratio 3 ratio 2 now i explain you whenever ratio question comes then we suppose them as in the x form like first angle a is 3 so we suppose it as 3x and second as angle b equal 2x so angle a equal 3x and angle b equal 2x now we know the sum of adjacent angle is always 180 degree adjacent angle ka sum 180 hota hai that means angle a plus angle b is 180 degree now what is angle a angle a is 3x and what is angle b it is 2x so 3x plus 2x it is 180 degree that means 3 plus 2 5 so 5x equal 180 degree now we transpose 5 so it comes in divide 
So x equal 180 upon 5 that is 36 degree. Okay, when we divide 180 by 5, then we get the value of x. But we want 3x and 2x because a is 3x and b is 2x. So, a equal c because opposite angles are equal. So, 3x that means 3 into 36. So, it is equal 108 degree. Then b equal d opposite angles which is equal 2x. So, 2 into x that means 2 into 36 so it is equal 72 degree thus the measure of the angle of parallelogram are 108 degree 72 degree 108 degree and again 72 degree okay now let's see next question now in next question is same but here it is not given in the form of ratio here you have given two adjacent angle having equal measure and you have to find the measure of all the angles of parallelogram. Aapko sare angles find karna hai. So same thing sum of adjacent angle is 180 degree but here both the angles are equal two adjacent angles are equal. So A plus A okay because A and B are equal so A plus A two angle A equal 180 degree. So what is angle A? 180 divided by 2. So, we get 90, 90 degree. Now, A and B are equal. So, it is 90 degree. It is given in the question. Then, we know A equal C. A and C also equal. Why? Because these opposite angles. Hai. And B equal D. So, this is also 90 degree. It means the measure of all four angles are of 90 degree. Okay? Now let's see next question. Now here you have given one figure HOPE. It is a parallelogram and you have to find again the value of unknown. Unknown that is X, Y and Z. This variable's value we have to find. So this figure is given in the question. So here angle Y equal 40 degree. Why y equal 40 degree? Because these are alternate interior angle. These all properties you have learned in previous classes also. Okay. So, these two lines are parallel and this is transversal. So, y equal 40 degree is alternate interior angle. Now, this complete angle equal this angle. Ye pura angle milke is angle ki equal hoga kyo? Because these are corresponding angles. So, this angle means 40 degree plus Z equal 70 degree. So, what is Z? 70 minus 40 degree. That is Z equal 30 degree. Now, uh, last only X. So, this angle and this complete angles are adjacent angle. So, X plus Z plus 40 degree equal 180 degree. So, in bracket we write adjacent pair of angle. Ye kya hai? Adjacent pair hai. Or adjacent pair ka sum hota hai 180. Now we know what is Z plus 40? Z plus 40 it means 70 degree. So, X plus 70 equal 180. Now, transpose 70 here. So, X equal 180 minus 70 degree that is 110 degree. Okay, so in this way we find the value of x, y and z. Okay, now see next question. Explain how this figure is a trapezium. Aapse pucha hai ki ye figure trapezium kaise hai and which of the two sides are parallel. So we know if a transversal line intersecting two lines such that the sum of the measure of angle on the same side of transversal is 180 then these two lines will be parallel. Matlab, agar do pa line ko ek transversal line cut karti hai aur wo dono angle same side hai transversal ke and their sum is 180. Agar unka sum 180 hai then these two lines will be parallel. So, here we add angle M plus angle L. This two angle. So, angle M is 100 and angle L is 80 and 100 plus 80 it is 180 degree. It means these two lines are parallel. 
सो विच टू लाइन्स आर पैरेल एन एम एंड के एन ये पैरेल है और अब हमें पता है ट्रेपिजियम की डेफिनेशन के अकॉर्डिंग इफ एट लीस्ट वन पेयर इज पैरेल अगर एक पेयर पैरेल है देन इट इज अ ट्रेपिजियम देर फॉर के एल एम एन इज अ ट्रेपिजियम बिकॉज इट हैज वन पेयर इज पैरेल ओके नाउ सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ फाइंड हियर मेजर ऑफ एंगल सी आपको एंगल सी फाइंड करना है अगेन वी हैव टू सी द एंगल ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसफर्सल इज 180 एटी डिग्री सो एंगल बी प्लस एंगल सी इक्वल वन एटी डिग्री सो एंगल बी इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री एंड सी वी हैव टू फाइंड विच इज इक्वल वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री सो वॉट इज एंगल सी वन एट्टी माइनस वन ट्वेंटी दैट इज एंगल सी इज सिक्सटी डिग्री नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Here you have given find the measure of angle P and S. आपको angle P और S find करना है when एस पी एंड आर क्यू दिस आर पैरेल ये आपको पैरेल गिवन है एंड टू एंगल्स आर ऑल्सो गिवन एंगल आर इज नाइंटी डिग्री एंड एंगल क्यू इज वन थर्टी डिग्री नाउ वी नो एंगल पी एंड एंगल क्यू दिस आर एडजेंट सॉरी दिस टू आर एंगल ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसफर्सल एंड देयर सम इज 180 एटी डिग्री सो एंगल पी प्लस एंगल क्यू इट इज इक्वल वन एटी डिग्री सो पी क्यू इज वन थर्टी इक्वल वन एटी डिग्री सो एंगल पी इक्वल वन एटी माइनस वन थर्टी दैट मीन्स एंगल पी इज फिफ्टी डिग्री सिमिलरली एंगल आर एंड एंगल एस देयर सम इज ऑल्सो 180 एटी डिग्री बिकॉज दीज आर को इंटीरियर एंगल और वी कैन से एंगल ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसफर्सल सो आर इज 90 डिग्री सो वट इज एस एस इक्वल वन एट्टी माइनस नाइंटी सो एंगल एस इक्वल नाइंटी डिग्री ओके सो दिस एक्सरसाइज ओवर नाउ लास्ट एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट फोर सी इट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड हियर यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई ऑल द कॉड्री लेटरल्स विच हैव फोर साइड्स ऑफ इक्वल लाइन दिस एक्सरसाइज इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड जस्ट नाउ सो फर्स्ट इज विच कॉड्री लेटरल हैविंग ऑल फोर साइड्स इक्वल सो ऑल फोर साइड्स आर इक्वल इन रोम्बस एंड स्क्वायर देन फोर राइट एंगल्स सो फोर राइट एंगल्स इज इन स्क्वायर एंड रेक्टेंगल देन एक्सप्लेन हाउ अ स्क्वायर इज क्वारिलेटरल स्क्वायर क्वारिलेटरल क्यों है बिकॉज इट हैज ऑल फोर साइड्स देन वाई अ स्क्वायर इज अ पैलेलोग्राम अ स्क्वायर इज अ पैलेलोग्राम बिकॉज इट्स अपोजिट साइड्स आर पैरेल देन हाउ अ स्क्वायर इज रोम्बस बिकॉज अ स्क्वायर इज अ रोम्बस बिकॉज इट्स ऑल फोर साइड्स आर इक्वल देन हाउ अ स्क्वायर इज रेक्टेंगल बिकॉज इट ऑल फोर एंगल्स मेजर इज नाइंटी डिग्री देन हुज डायगोनल बायसेकट ईच अदर द डायगोनल्स ऑफ पैलेलोग्राम रोम्बस स्क्वायर एंड रेक्टेंगल बायसेकट ईच अदर देन हुज डायगोनल्स आर परपेंडिकुलर बायसेक्टर सो इट इज ऑफ रोम्बस एंड स्क्वायर देन हुज डायगोनल्स आर इक्वल सो इट इज ऑफ रेक्टेंगल एंड स्क्वायर देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू हैव Why a rectangle is a convex quadrilateral? Rectangle is a convex quadrilateral because its all interior, all the diagonal, both the diagonal lie inside the figure. So it is a convex quadrilateral. So this was all about the third chapter. So today we conclude our third chapter here. Now this one you have to complete in your notebooks and do practice of this. Thank you for watching.